and I am really, really pleased with myself right now. So that's Stella. Now I know you are all gonna want this pattern. Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and I'm 29 from the United Kingdom. This channel of mine is documenting my journey as a crochet designer, making moments and memories. So every week you'll see my snippets of my inspiration, my project progress, my processes behind my inspiration, finished objects, sometimes and of course granny square galore so if you are a returning viewer hey tribe welcome back what's good what's happening and thank you for being here and if you're brand new hi hello and welcome i hope you enjoy your time here if you want to find me on social media i am on instagram as hg designs crochet facebook there's also a facebook group as well as the page um, I'm on Twitter as HG Designs Crow, C R O, and Patreon, where you can get up to date, um, up to date information on HGDC. So every week I post a post called Inside HGDC, and in that post you will see everything I've been doing that week, and I am not. I don't actually share all of that information here on YouTube, so my Patreons know a whole lot more than anybody else. Um, they also see my finished projects first. They also get my patterns for free, such as that little number right there. Okay, so, tribe, this week I've got a finished object to show you. Um, and then I wanted to do some stash diving and project planning with you. <sighs> Last week I showed you the process of making Stella. Stella is my granny square clutch bag. Stella's finished guys. Stella is finished. She's just here. Now let me get her ready to show you. I wore this out last week on date night here she is ah oh, I love it so this is Stella she's a granny square clutch each granny square is three rounds round and then joined in this glitter black look at that I fringed it as you can see on both sides and I also have a press stud closure. I've also lined my bag. And I am really, really pleased with myself right now. So that's Stella. Now I know you are all going to want this pattern. And what I'm doing is I've written up the basics, but as for photos, this colour is ridiculous to photograph and so I am going to make another one with a different joining colour and we are going to stash dive in my stash over there and pick the colours together um, and then hopefully this time next week I will have all of the photographs to show you and I'll also be able to take pictures and proper measurements of the lining um, and then the fringing will be optional. I am still undecided on the fringing. I do really like it. But then it also annoys me. I don't know. Somebody suggested I make it shorter. A new subscriber actually. Hey. Um, I don't know. 
is up to you. So I'm going to remake this in a different joining colour. And I've got so many colour dilemmas, but we'll go into those. And then I'm going to take all the pictures and release this pattern. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've also got a variation. A variation. I've also got two variations. Two variations in my mind. And so I've asked you all to put um, on last week's vlog and this week's any words relating to stars on here. Um, and I did write down a couple because you've all been so great and put so many ideas. Um, Celeste is a really good word. I'm really liking that one. Sirius. I didn't realise he was a star. And then I looked into the whole of the Black family. This is for Harry Potter fans, by the way. I looked into the Black family and most of them are named after stars. <sighs> Never knew that. Um, then I was like looking at star names. <sighs> there's, there's, there's some good names in the work. So if you've got any words or any names relating to stars, then please comment them below. Or if you've got any other names that you think that Granny Square Bags should be named, then let me know. Um, because I've got so many variations in my head that need naming. I still haven't named this one. Oh my goodness. I love it. I haven't named it and I haven't yet aligned it. I haven't worn it out either. It, because it's so bright, I don't know what to wear it with. I do know what to wear it with. I'm going to wear it with all black. The occasion just wasn't, hasn't come about yet. But I might be going to cinema tonight. And if that's the case, you can put so many goodies in there. So maybe it'll get its first outing. Okay. Now... I commented, well, I put like a, a question thing on Instagram yesterday, um, give me vlog ideas, and the first one was um, bullet journals, and the second one was yarn, and I was like, I'm actually planning projects right now, and I need to go through my yarn, so this is for both of you. If you do have any vlog requests or anything you want to see, please comment below, because I want to make sure I'm giving you a vlog every week, and... Sometimes I think I don't have anything to vlog about, but then in actual fact, I'm just I'm overthinking it or I'm comparing myself too much to other vloggers out there rather than thinking, what is it that I've got to show? Like this bad boy. Just, ugh. So, yeah, if you've got any vlog ideas, comment those below. Um, and I will do my very best to make them come about for you. So as one of the requests was bullet journals, and I did spend last night a long time in my journals, not because of that request, but because I've got so many ideas in my head and I needed to get them all written up. Um, so I have updated my vlogs, my vlogs, my bullet journal, and so I thought I would show you. So at the moment I'm using this setup. It's from Wilkinson's and it's like a wrapped piece, piece of forks leather and then in the center inside it it's got these notebooks now there's four in there and each one is just a simple a5 exercise book um and then they are attached with a piece of elastic which is attached to the cover and that just holds them in place so i've got four in here at the moment and Three of them are for HDDC and one of them is for my notes when I'm in church. Now, I've also got, let me just grab it for you, my other, I've got three crochet journals on the go. Let me show you another one. This one again is another Wilkinson's organiser. This one's a clip ring binder and it's got notebooks and in this one I put a lot of my swatches and little bits, not swatches, little bits of yarn and my labels. 
and that's a lot bulkier but it's a way of being able to um, track my projects and then I've got a lot of labels from yarn sellers um, from different festivals that I've been to sorry my brain's not quite in gear which I've stuck in with washi tape um, oh, and at the back I'm not going to open that you can see here I've got receipts and loads of bits and bobs that want sticking in but for my actual ideas they're in here let me just grab one more I've got one more which is a black A4 um, does scrapbook really that I stick pictures in that I find on Pinterest um, just because there's so many ideas in my head I can put a load in there I did that because I was going to make a huge festival collection um, and actually I never made any of those clothes and I haven't updated it since but I do really enjoy looking through it but now I tend to, if I've got an idea for something in my head that I want to make and I've got inspiration pictures, I copy those pictures into a note in my phone and then I put all the details of my idea in there rather than printing them out because I've got so many notebooks on the go that I needed to try and just keep it in order a little bit. This one's not crochet related. This one is um, an inspirational journal where I've printed a lot of quotes and put them in here and sometimes when I'm feeling a bit down or a bit low I just sit and flick through the pages um, there's a lot of scripture there's a lot of just mindset changing mindset boosting Stuff in there. This one's very pink. <laughs> this was before I started framing a lot and putting it on my walls. Anyway, back to crochet. Um, so I've been writing in my this exercise book is for my pattern ideas. Um, and so I just thought I'd show you a few bits and bobs that I've got in here. So in the front cover, I've got this information on grain line. Um, because I and ease and that's purely because when I'm cutting out fabric or I'm writing up a pattern I just like to have those as easy reference notes and then on here is the wrap skirt that I made out of the floral fabric and it's in pencil so it's really faint um, but I did make that and if I remember I will put a picture in here for you which reminds me I didn't insert a picture of me wearing Promise my granny square jumper so also that needs to go in for you and then I've got and I can't show you it all but I've got granny square cardigan here an idea I've got on the go um, the notes on Risen, which is downstairs. Um, then I've got Promise, which is there. I've got more on Risen. Then one of my Stella variations, Stella Oversized. Uh -huh. um, and I tend to not the greatest at drawing <laughs> that's what I do when I'm drawing and then I write out measurements um, I put in how like step by step of how I'm going to construct it um, then I've got all my name ideas here stars I'm really excited about um, and so far that's all of the patterns that I've written in here and then on the back I've got some formulas for when I'm grading my patterns and then I have another HTDC notebook and it's my plans and so 
down here is a list of all the projects that I want to make. I'm purposely not zooming in so you can't see them all because I've got to surprise you all. But I'll read a few out. So I want to make a variation of Promise where the granny squares are just in the back. Um, there's a lot of granny squares in my future. I'm going to need a granny square production line, that's for sure. Um, there's the granny square jumper to finish. There's a granny square cardigan to make. Um, I really want to make a summer dress. I really want to make a scarf. We're in that period now where we're starting to leave summer and we're heading towards autumn or fall if you're in America. And so although I'm thinking about summer projects and I want to hopefully go away end of September maybe um, on a little holiday. So I'd like a holiday project to wear then. But I'm also thinking about the colder weather and the rain that we keep getting. Yeah. Um, I'd like to make more socks. I'd like to do a co-ord set. So like a jumper and a skirt matching. Um, I want to make another dress. I want to make a waistcoat. So many things. Then I've got my merchandise plans. I've got hashtags that I want to use. I've got all of the workings out for the tax that I need to pay on any money that I make. Um, I've got project ideas, I've got a YouTube to-do list. So I write them all in these pages. So, I'm gonna remake this and I'm gonna make the variation. So we are gonna stash dive, y'all. You see this absolutely huge tower of yarn that actually goes, it's got another tub on what you can see. It's so big that I don't want to fetch it down to go through it. There's so much in there that I'm not always sure what I've got. And when I just want a simple colour, I can't be bothered to unstack them to get them out. So I am planning on getting the... Um, I am planning on getting some cube storage for all of that. and having a major, major de-stash. So, we need to stash dive and pick a joining colour for these, for the two variations. Now, I'm thinking pink, because I love wearing pink. Well, I don't love wearing pink, I love pink. I love wearing black, but I'm not going to do black because that's the problem with this one. Or I might go for a more neutral colour like this because I do wear a lot of this. I wear a lot of black, khaki green, grey, neutrals and a little bit of burgundy. Let's stash dive. So this tub is all of my whites and my yellows and neutrals. Um, this tub has my chunky, my Aaron and my denim in it. So I know I won't be going in there. That is a huge bag of odds and ends, which I will be using. And then projects that need ripping down. That looks like perfect granny square material. Oh my goodness. Oops, I dropped some. Yes to that. 
perfect. Look at all of this. Okay, so I think a lot of this is my scraps from Enamoured. Some great colours in here. This has got my pinks, my reds, a little bit of chunky, some purples. Let me just... Got some Aaron. So my plan is, is to get a big bag like this with all my odds and ends and a big bag filled with all the different colours that I want to use, um, putting that all in a big pile and then out of that big pile, um, I don't know whether to be really selective, I think on one of them I'm just going to use all the colours and then on another one of the variations so maybe this, maybe the first, the next version of this, I will just use all the colours, and then on the on the oversized one, I will be a bit more selective in the colours I use. Um, I'm quite liking the idea of joining in that. Um, um, it's going to either be grey or this or pink. So. absolute ton of this glittery pink I don't think that that's a bag that I would wear but then I could just make it and sell it oh. I've got all these little bits in here that need using up quite loads of Aaron See my brain working, I'm thinking Aaron cardigan. Um, I love this. That would make a good joining colour, but I don't have a lot of it anymore. Just said to you it's gonna be really neutral, and then I pick out the brightest pink and I'm like, this one, this one. Um just look at the side of this tub. That I brought for a special project and it's not come about yet. More Aaron. Do we really like that colour? I'm wondering if all these could go together. And then I've got two more tubs behind me. That's chunkies and the one below is my blues and my greens. So I am going to pick out a load of this yarn, put it in a pile, and then come back to you with ideas. I'm so stuck on what joining colour to use and I'm adamant I'm not gonna buy any more. I think a colour like this. Let me see if I can grab it. This maybe? It's a little bit too yellowy. There is more downstairs actually. Let me get all of my bits and bobs together and then I'll come back to you and show you what we're working with. Okay tribe, I just went downstairs to make some porridge and I was admiring the colour scheme of my lounge which is very neutral like this with a little tiny pop of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that and then I thought I'd quite like, I quite like that colour scheme and I'd quite like a pair of, well a bag to go with these shoes. Um, so it makes sense to make Accessories that go with what I already have and so I figured I would edge in that one there and I would just pop, pop pops of this within it 
Um, yeah, so they're my glam glam shoes. And this is the second variation of, well, it's either going to be a variation of or the same of Stella. And I'm going to pick out another set to make either this. So basically I'm making two bags. One's going to be identical and one's going to be a variation. So this is the first colour scheme for whichever I choose to go with. And I have destroyed this room. Yawn. 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 Oh my goodness. I'm going to get my storage sorted ASAP. I'm going to eat my porridge and get back to you. Okay tribe, I've put the yarn tower back for now. It's still an absolute mess. But I'm working on the storage. Um, shoes are here. No one's there. What I'm going to do is use some of these for the centres and then that lot for the second round. Though I might be able to get a lot of second rounds out of that. And then I'm going to join in this colour. So I am going to pick a film and crack on with this. Um, I did work out how many squares I need. I'm going to make an exact replica of Stella, which is over here. An exact replica but in colours that are easier to pick up and I'm going to emit the fringing as well. So I will check in at different intervals to see how I'm getting on. And for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching, thank you for joining, click like, click subscribe, put your comments below of name suggestions for these, um, star and non-star related, and put some suggestions for vlogs down the below. Alright tribe, thanks, see you next time, bye!